Aloha. I just wanted to talk a little bit about my work with hemp oil and um, treating cyclical vomiting syndrome. Cyclical vomiting syndrome is a side effect of irritable bowel syndrome, which is why most people don't hear of it. Because if you have cyclical or if you have irritable bowel syndrome, you generally don't want to talk too much about it. It's not a disease that you is socially acceptable to talk about. So. Uh, but there are so many people in the world that have, or at least in the United States, that have cyclical vomiting syndrome that there is actually a cyclical vomiting syndrome society to assist patients and their families that are dealing with this. It's pretty horrendous. What happens when you have cyclical vomiting syndrome is that, um, okay, you have IBS, and so you eat something, and it goes all the way through your stomach and your intestines and then it gets down around your bowels and there's an obstruction there and your body reads it as well wait a second if I we can't eject this and through this means then there's only one other way to get rid of it and so you start throwing up well of course you can't throw up something from your bowels so because the body does not get any relief by trying that throwing up, it will do it over and over again. The way that um, I know, um, as far as, uh, I don't know if all doctors treat it this way, but the one patient that I worked with, um, the way that they would treat it for her would be, she would be taken into the emergency room. They would uh, shoot her with such a severe dose of narcotics to bring the condition under control that she would have to stay in the hospital for two or three days so she would come down enough to walk from the curb to the car and then she would have a severe narcotics hangover for uh, she said about a week and a half after that so it wound up that um, she was uh, for about two weeks after she would have an attack it would take her to get back to feeling normal and so when this person came to me, I gave them um, some very small doses, like maintenance doses of hemp oil, and um, uh, gave them a couple buds too, and told this lady's husband to roll a joint and have it in a, one place where she could get to it with a lighter very easily in case of emergency break glass kind of thing. And uh, what happened was, was after a couple of days, they came back to get some more. And I asked her what, you know, I'm, I'm into doing research for this. So if you've had relief, maybe you could tell me a little bit about how life is different now that you're taking this. And she said, you know, she said before when I would go take my dogs for a walk, she said, you know, we have wild animals around here. So I have my dogs on a leash. And she said, sometimes the dogs will you know, dogs will pull over and they're not doing their business. They're just pulling over to sniff. And when that would be the paradigm and I would catch them just sniffing and not doing their business, I'd be jerking the leash going, come on, let's get this over with. And she said, now when my dogs pull over to sniff, I pull over to sniff too. Take a deep breath. Realize how beautiful this place is that we live and how wonderful life is. It's a beautiful thing. And she said before, if I wasn't riding my horses, everything that I was doing was not to be enjoyed, and which was about 95% of the time. She said, so now, she said, it doesn't matter if I'm mucking out the stalls of my horses. I'm talking to them, and I can hear them talking back to me. And she said before, I would either be worried about the past or worried about the future. It was never a time to just be okay with the now. And she said, now when I get into that space where I'm just taking stock, it's not about being worried about the past or the future. It's about feeling how good I feel in the moment. So to me, that just tells me that she became an Irie person in a matter of a couple days. Look up Irie if you don't know it. I-R-I-E. <laughs> Very centered and blissful with the process of life unfolding as it is. So um, at one point in time, her husband um, contacted me and he said, well, uh, she had, a, she had a, an, an attack today. And I said, well, you're not at the hospital. What happened? And she said, well, he said, well, um, the thing was, was uh, she did exactly what she said. She went over, she got the joint out, she took a couple hits, she sat down and in 10 minutes, it was completely under control. 
So between taking hemp oil and, uh, you know, on a maintenance basis and then having a little bit of pot around for if you do have an attack, because it doesn't obviously take care of it 100%, um, you can have some kind of relief that does not involve going to the hospital and all of that that, I don't know, like I said, there may be other ways that uh, doctors treat uh, cyclical vomiting syndrome, but this is how they treated it with her. And what I gave her was a really viable alternative. And so I just wanted to share it with the world so that uh, other people that are suffering in this way can know that there are alternatives out there that are natural. And the beautiful thing about hemp oil, once again, is that, you know, if you take it, if you find yourself in a position where you need to take it on a regular basis, you're blessed because there are so many things that are going on in your life that will just be in a better shape. Hemp oil is the best health tonic I could ever imagine. The things that have happened to my life and people that I know that have been taking it on a regular basis, it's just wonderful. I mean, you never have to worry about weight control. You go to your perfect weight and stay there. You never let anything really upset you. If you've got panic or anxiety, Attacks, you, they just don't, they, they're not part of your life. You got pain, no, no pain, pain just doesn't exist around hemp oil. It's a beautiful thing. So I highly encourage everybody to investigate it and get involved with it because it's the future of medicine and of our health and well-being. If we want to stay in a good space, it's here for us. So that's it.